Welcome to Control System Lecture Series. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about Block Diagram Algebra. This concept is very important in Control System subject. Now we are going to discuss each and every point related to Block Diagram Algebra. Okay, these are the concepts we are going to concentrate in this lecture. That is, first one is use of the Block Diagram Algebra and second one is difference between analysis and design of a system and last one is basic elements in block diagram okay coming to use of block diagram block diagrams are used to represent the control systems in the pictorial form here block diagrams consisting of single block or combination of blocks coming to difference between analysis and design of a system generally the control systems can be represented with a set of mathematical equations. These set of mathematical equations are known as mathematical model. Okay? By using mathematical models, we can analyze and design the control systems. Okay, here we are having small difference between analysis and design of a control system. Okay, coming to analysis of a control system, that is finding the output when we know the input and mathematical model of a system that is nothing but analysis of a control system okay that is nothing is there that is finding the output of a system finding the output of a system if you know the input and the mathematical model that is nothing but analysis of a system and coming to design okay design of a control system is nothing but finding the mathematical model finding the mathematical model of a control system when we know the input and output okay that is nothing but if you know the input and output of a system by using this input and output we are going to finding the mathematical model for a given system that is nothing but designing of a control system okay this is the difference between analysis and design of a control systems coming to basic elements of block diagram Block diagram mainly consisting of three basic elements. Those are first one is the block, second one is the summing point, and third one is the takeoff point. Okay. Now, by considering the simple block diagram of a closed loop control system, we are going to discuss each and every element. That is, what is block, what is summing point, as well as what is takeoff point. This is the simple block diagram of a closed loop control system. In this system, these are two blocks. Okay, this is one block and this is one more block, and this represents the summing point and this represents the takeoff point. Here, these two blocks having the transfer functions g of s and h of s. Here, r of s and c of s are the input and output of a system, and these arrow marks represent the flow of signal, means direction of a signal okay these things can be explained here that is block diagram consisting of two blocks having the transfer function g of s and h of s and it is having one summing point this is one summing point and this is the one of the takeoff point and these arrows these arrows indicates the direction of flow of signals now we are going to discuss each and every element in detail Coming to first element in the block diagram, that is block. The transfer function of a component. The transfer function of a component is represented by a block and block consisting of single input and single output. Now by considering block with the inputs x of s and y of s, we are going to find out the transfer function. That is, this is a simple block which is having g of s is the transfer function. Here x of s is the input and y of s is the output. So transfer function of this block is given as y of s by x of s is equal to g of s. Okay, from this equation we can find out the output from the block. That is y of s is equal to g of s into x of s. Okay, this is the representation of block. By using block we can find out the transfer function of a component this block consisting of single input and single output coming to second element in the block diagram that is the summing point summing point is always represented with a circle which is having the cross mark inside it that is nothing but 
it is represented like this that is circle inside the circle we are having the cross mark and this summing point having two or more inputs okay this is one input and this is the one more input and having only one output and the output is the algebraic sum of the inputs that is nothing but it produces summing point produces the algebraic sum of inputs means produces means it gives the output which is algebraic sum of the inputs by using summing point we can perform the summation or subtraction or combination of summation and subtraction of the inputs based on the polarity of the inputs now we are going to discuss summation subtraction and all the operations by using the summing point now consider the summing point okay this is the summing point which is having two inputs that is a and b are the two inputs these two inputs having the polarity that is same polarity positive polarity and here y is the output from the summing point this output is the algebraic sum of these two inputs so y is equal to a plus b here the summing point produces the output y this output as the sum of a and b that is y is equal to a plus b similarly consider one more summing point which is having two inputs that is input a and input b in this case the polarity of input a is positive and polarity of input b is negative and here also output is the y that is the algebraic sum of these two inputs that is y is equal to a minus b means the polarity of a is positive and polarity of b input is negative okay these are the operations on summing point coming to third element in the block diagram that is the takeoff point takeoff point is defined as it is a point from which the same input signal can be passed through more than one branch okay that means with the help of takeoff point we can apply the same input to one or more blocks or summing points okay for example consider this is the block diagram representation and here this one is the takeoff point okay the input to this takeoff point is r of s this input is going to apply to these three blocks that is ga of s gb of s and gc of s same input we are going to apply to these three blocks okay that is the use of takeoff point and takeoff point also used to connect the output c of s as one of the input to the summing point for example consider this is the block diagram here this is the output c of s is the output from this output we are going to take the takeoff point okay this output going to apply to one of the input to the summing point this is the summing point from this takeoff point we are going to apply this output to this summing point as one of the input that is the another use of takeoff point and this is regarding the takeoff point